They say you can't take it when you die. Well, whoever built this transformer took that personally. They buried the copper in a tomb so thick, I'm pretty sure it's legally a historical landmark. Today we're playing operation on a 100 pound block of industrial food cake. The prize, massive haul of red gold. The penalty, regret in a very dusty garage. 106.9 pounds. The label says copper. My heart says jackpot. And my lower back's already calling a lawyer. Let's see if air power can beat the world's toughest transformer. I took a break and it was the next day and all of a sudden I lost all my audio. So this is me being dumb and continuing on with the video. Here I am trying to, with all I have, to bust open this block and it's like really, really slow. I got it at 100 PSI. And just so that we don't lose anything, this is what it sounded like. Like a big dummy, then I started beating on this big, solid mass of concrete. And it wasn't really doing a lot. I guess the three-pound hammer wasn't enough. Oh, no. What's he going to do now? I guess he's forgot that he's got a heart condition and he's decided to swing the 10 pound sledgehammer into oblivion. Well, it only actually took seven minutes aside and it actually all came apart. At this point, this was clean enough to start removing the copper from the transformer. All the resin had gone, the sand, but look at the mess of the shop. At this point, I decided to weigh this before I removed the copper, and it was 61.90 pounds. Here I am cutting the transformer copper and basically I just do two incisions to get this free and then you peel back the layers just like a normal one. While we watch this I wanted to let you know this is what's called an auto transformer. It's different from a regular transformer. You ask what an auto transformer is? It's a special type of electrical transformer that uses a single continuous winding instead of the two separate primary and secondary windings found in standard isolation transformers. 
In a standard transformer, power is translated purely through a magnetic field. In an auto transformer, power is transferred in two ways, inductively through a magnetic field in the core and conductively directly through a shared electrical wire. The reason people use auto transformers is they're smaller and lighter and they use less copper. They also have a higher efficiency and lower losses. The cost is quite a bit less expensive. There's no electrical isolation between the input and the outputs, so that goes towards the safety. And it has the best voltage range for small ratios. So in this transformer, it was encapsulated with silica and resin. And the reason people do that is for superior heat dissipation, explosion and arc protection, noise reduction, and environmental ruggedness. Here I am pulling the copper after I've cut it. And it's basically just like any other transformer. But if you notice, there is quite a bit less copper. I would say half. Now that I got all the copper removed and the shop cleaned up a little bit, I wanted to show you how much copper is in this thing. And I know my words don't match my mouth actions, but... Just treated like a really bad translated movie. And there's all that beautiful copper. About a third of that container. Here's that beautiful steel core. And that would go for prepared at my yard. So that's pretty nice. Of course I'm getting in the way. What I have in my hands here is about a pound and a half of number three copper. And it's wrapped in some rubber and there's still silica and resin in there. So the best I'm going to get is number three. So here we're going to weigh up the final copper. And what I'm explaining here is when I checked last week in Calgary, we're getting five fifty a pound for number two. And as you can see there, we have 14 pounds, 10 ounces, which works out to $77.55. It only took me a couple hours to actually do the whole transformer. So I believe that works out to $38.75 an hour, which isn't bad. And I would definitely do another one. I really do apologize about the audio. But I've never done one before, and I've never seen one on YouTube before. So I really wanted to show you guys that this was possible. The reason I did it was I was told that it is impossible to scrap one of these unless you're in an industrial application. And, I, and obviously that's false. I just did it. Make sure to like, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And that was some nice junk.